Go ahead. Okay, does it record? Yep. Thank you. Okay, this is part two of the Cybergun Thompson M1A1 review. Uh, we did a first review about, let's see, three months ago. Um, I got this on January 8th, and now it is Mar uh, March 20th, so yeah, about three, three months, three and a half months. And we just want to go over how it's held up during a war. We've had three actual wars with this. Where the first one doesn't count, because we played for like five minutes, I slipped down an embankment, came up and he shot my tooth out. And yeah, from about 20 yards away, I gave him one and hit him in the tooth. Yeah, the first thing I want to talk about with this gun is, uh, I probably mentioned this in the other video, uh, but uh, the clip. The clip is a big issue. Uh, not a big issue for, uh, if you don't have to really worry about like pressure situations, but if you notice this groove, this rail meets with this groove, and if you don't have it just perfectly lined up, it won't go in. So we have to get it lined up, nay. Get it lined up, and give it a good crack. Not a huge issue, but depending on who you are, it might be. Also, how to put the battery in, because we never showed that. Yeah, we never showed actually how to put the battery in. And just so, so you know, I don't think we said this in the last video. This is not the Tokyo Mari one. The Tokyo Mari one is actually worse. This is, uh, the Cyber Gun. So, uh, it's kind of, never mind. Saima, Cyber Gun. I don't know if they're the same thing, but nope. it's one of those. Just stop talking, Tony. And okay, now, I like the, it better. The battery compartment is a big, spacious compartment. Giant compartment in there for the battery. This is for if you have a larger battery, you can see in there, I don't know. But, it's not that hard to take the wire out, plug it in. Now, now if you put it in here, I'll show you. If you put it in there, in here. Yeah, it rattles. Now, there's this bottom compartment that you can just conveniently yep, slide in. You can only see it if you turn that butt plate sideways like you have it right there. Yeah, and then you, when you do that, nay, this, close that, do that. We're good to go. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is where. Uh, we've had this gun on a lot of places and a lot of bad stuff. And so far, it has done nothing except that. I don't know what that is. What? Oh, chip. Oh, I see it. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all compared to some of the stuff that happens to guns, like stocks breaking off. I don't think one little chip is going to be any big deal. But you can see a few scratches and stuff. Nothing big at all. But that's just from time where using the gun a lot, paint peeling off on the bolt a little bit, the that's just from that. But the clip is basically spotless, except for a few minor scratches and stuff. But uh, this gun has held up very well. Uh, I'm very happy with it for the $180 I paid off of uh, Airsoft GI. I am very, very it's, happy with it. It's literally the, I would say, one of the most professional guns you can get. For, for under 200 bucks. It's yeah. great. It's professional grade for not professional price. You don't have to spend $800, such as the TM Thompson that I just found out there was. Well, that was 315 No, there was that, uh, I think it was that AGM MP5 that was 800 bucks. That's ridiculous. Yes, unless you're actually in a league or you're sponsored. It's just... This could be in a league, I think. I yeah. think this is... It's good enough to use in a league. But, um... Oh, and another thing, if you think you're winding the clip backwards, you're not crazy. It actually winds backwards than normal clips. Yeah, it's just different. Not a big deal. It's easier to do that anyway. I'm having to push forward. But that's all preference on whatever, whatever makes you happy. But this gun, like I said, it's just very good, very, very heavy. Well, it's about 10 pounds, probably. Uh, the, the shipping weight is 9.5, the gun is 8-something, eight 8.7, eight oh. seven, something like that. But it, it's, I've held real ones, I've shot real Thompsons, it's the same. It's virtually the same. And, like I mentioned in my other video, we didn't, at first we didn't know if this was actual real wood. It isn't real wood, it's just the motor's in here. And yeah, that, that's why it doesn't knock. It, yeah, it doesn't knock. And it, it doesn't have more sheen for some reason. Do I just be from having your hand there all the time? But it's just very solid. Nothing rattles at all. These gay things. But then there's the sling, which everybody said uh, has not worked for them. But for some odd reason, I know on my MP5s, the first time I put it on, it broke. For some odd reason, this yeah, that one's held up pretty good. Yeah, it hasn't done anything stupid yet. It hasn't gone all gay and broken, but 
Nothing has broken so far. I'm actually kind of worried about that because it seems kind of <laughs> too good to be true. Just for the fact that with my luck with guns, 